This is the fourth and the last day for Army Recognition Editorial Team as the official media partner at Defense and Security Thailand 2019. And today we will focus our video footage on the autonomous truck mounted gun displayed on the Thai pavilion. Then on the term of the Danish company presenting its latest defense solutions. Afterward we will focus on the armors vehicle manufactured by Covico and Panos. And finally we will have the opportunity to present you a new Thai sniper rifle. I am the Lieutenant Colonel Michel Nguyen. I support the weapon production center by a coordinator the, between the company. Uh, this weapon is the, the product by the weapon production center of the military, of defense. It belongs to WPC, or weapon production center. We product in Thailand. Uh, this is the 155 millimeter gun. It's automatic gun. Uh, is the, the capability is a long range, uh, 40 kilometers, and we can fly uh, automatically. When the gun deployment by uh, the, we have the GPS for location, the, uh, the uh, firing size, and also direction, we get the INS to look for the direction. And when the observer can fire to the gun, the gun will lay to the target automatically. The horn part, uh, the product in uh, weapon production in Thailand is, is belong to a uh, military of defense uh, uh, factory. Yeah. We as uh, belong to the uh, weapon production center also. Like uh, we are uh, uh, little cheap, like uh, the company who support the weapon production. Some part the product, uh, weapon production cannot uh, product by themselves. We support them like, uh, for technology. I can say everything is belong to Vivan Production. I can say the, what, what, the, what the company make from, but our company support the Vivan Production, uh, who are uh, original, uh, production original. Uh, uh, the production, uh, some, some part, uh, the Vivan Production cannot uh, uh, product by themselves. We will have to need the assistant, the, like a engineering uh, or the instructor for, for training. Sometimes we have to need the technology from uh, other country. Uh, for uh, exhibition here, we expect to uh, like a, let the Thai people to know now uh, in the weapon production center of the Thai military, in the factory, they can product by themselves. So I'm uh, Jens Blau from, uh, from, from Terma. I'm one of the sales managers. Terma is a Danish-based company. So primarily most of the people are in Denmark. We've got a pretty large global footprint. So in the uh, Asian region, we have offices in uh, Singapore, New Delhi, and quite active in Australia as well. Um, that on the office side, uh, product side, we are pretty well established in, uh, in quite a few nations uh, in the uh, Southeast Asian region. So on the naval side, we have our, as I said, our Sea Zero solution, which consists of our Seaflex command and control system, our Sea Guard, which we stand beside right here, um, decoy uh, launch, uh, the, uh, anti-missile, anti-torpedo system, um, and then we have our Skander radar portfolio um, that um, actually um, is available on most of the, uh, or a lot of the Thai Navy ships, let's say it that way. Yeah? So the next part of our portfolio, besides the naval portfolio we just talked about, is our aeronautics portfolio, where we have our 3D audio that uh, enhances the capability of the uh, pilot in the cockpit, increases his situation awareness and his reaction time. We, uh, we have our pylon system where we uh, provide a missile warning system, chaff decoy launchers for the aircraft. But the whole portfolio is, uh, is about adding capability to the, uh, to the aircraft without actually interfering with the systems on board, so easily, uh, easily, uh, easy application um, without having to do a full uh, air certification of, of the platform. So the last application uh, besides uh, our naval and, and aeronautics is our security application series where we have our scanner radar primarily, um, where we deliver VTS, uh, VCS uh, radars for uh, system integrators. Um, we also deliver surface movement radars for, uh, for quite a lot of airports. Actually, out of the larger airports in the world, we probably cover about 80% of those. Um, but again, added 
to the capability, you can see radars are actually in, in quite a few of our applications. We're happy to be here at uh, Defense and Security, and the expectation for the show is to meet, uh, of course, current uh, old customers and new customers, but also to interact with uh, business partners uh, and all the, um, let's say, other business-to-business -business partners that are available in the region. We, we work quite a bit together with other companies in the region. Uh, but we're also happy to be here, not only to grow the Thai market where we are fairly available, or substantially available on, on Navy platforms, airports, coastal surveillance, we are on the F-16s in the Royal Thai uh, Air Force, but also to grow not only that part, the, the Thai market, but grow the whole the market in the region and interact with the customers within the region. My name is Omsak Non Po. I'm the director of Defense Business Unit from Connacht Assembly Company, Thailand. And we uh, capture about 35% of trailers business in Thailand. You, what you see in the back here is another expansion of our business into armed forces area. So what you see here AFV 420P 4x4. The initiative push behind this one was when we supply to MRAP unit to the Navy in the south of Thailand. We found the wreckage of V150 with their permission. We brought it over and we built it, changed new engine, transmission, axle, put more protection on top around the vehicle, and we sent it back for them so that they can use it again. With the knowledge that we learned from that, the technology and everything, we built another one. And the special thing about this one is it has a four-wheel steer because in the south you have rubber plantation, you have small wheelers. In the small wheelers you have small road and it's better to have maneuverability to, to go around the, the corner and the curve and all that. This is our baby. We call it R600. The special thing again is that they were very rugged and in the tight corner again we use the same technology turn all the wheels for steering for go over the corner and on top of that we explore further if this vehicle could swim so you can see the front part has so that it would go over the sea over the small uh, river and it would be able to cross the river or maybe would deploy from big ship into the shore for the marine people. I'm Harrison Cho. I'm in charge of the Kobiko. Kobiko is one of the leading companies in Korea. Uh, we are the manufacturing the special special purpose vehicle, especially the armoring vehicle. We since uh, 1967 we found out, and so uh, we supplying and manufacturing the Korean military uh, vehicle. So since the 2009, we supply to. Uh, armored vehicle to Indonesian National Police. Also, this KMPB we developed the last year. We just uh, first show up the, in this show. We are just uh, proud of this uh, showing our the various product. This KMPB vehicle is the uh, armoring level is NIJ, NIJ level four. It is the uh, more than standard level two. Also, we can mine protect the performance. We can test the IABG. Uh, TNT 6 kilogram. We got a certificate from the IABG also. Also, we got a certificated ADD. ADD is a Korean the military institute. We got a certificated uh, chorus certificate also. This vehicle is a Black Shark. We just supply to this 100 over, uh, over the 150 unit to uh, Indonesian National Police. It's charged from the Mercedes Benz with a build up to the armoring and put up the, the tactical ladder also. 
the Indonesian police they use the, the anti riot also the against the terrorism like this now. This is uh, the first time I uh, participate in the international the GB nation. We got uh, some opportunity about uh, the showing or uh, the knowing about our company and our brand. Actually, our uh, company name is Kobiko. This is the armor Co Kobiko is our brand name about the APC armored vehicle. So we also plan to uh, many other the exhibition, international exhibition. Maybe I hope to, to showing our company and our product. My name is Kittipat Natanachan. I am a lecturer in university. Our university is the King Mongkut University uh, Technology, North Bangkok. This is the uh, precision rifle or sniper rifle. This we get the uh, topic from the Navy SEAL of Thailand. Yes. He, uh, they want to know uh, the uh, technology in Thailand can produce the pistol rifle, yes or no, uh -huh. and we try to uh, develop. We uh, start to get the requirement from the uh, Navy SEAL, and we uh, decide the new for suitable for the uh, body size of Thai soldier. One hundred percent is uh, produced in uh, Thailand. For this uh, barrel, we uh, make, we uh, apply from the basic blade uh, in our shop, and we make some uh, cutting rifling machine to make the uh, groove in the barrel. This uh, SR rifle is we uh, developed from the base of AR-15. We designed the new. Uh, Gas tube uh, for uh, gas pistol operate. This uh, long stop pistol, and this idea from the uh, AK 47 of Russian is the uh, reliability of this uh, assault rifle. And for the AR 15, is have uh, direct gas operate. This have uh, dirty in the chamber. And, and this uh, this technique, this uh, operate of the gas pistol is to uh, to clear this dirty of the uh, chamber. Yeah, we make in the Thailand this the whole piece of the gun, but this we buy from the uh, gun shop here, here, and here. This is the first prototype. Yep. Yeah. We, we try to uh, produce the whole of this in the university and it's the first prototype. And this have uh, to test for uh, three to four hundred shots. This can operate with a single shot and full automatic. 